Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be attempting the 3 marker challenge. If you do not know what the 3 marker challenge is, it is where I blindly pick 3 colors and then I try to color a picture with those 3 colors. In the next clip where I am picking my 3 colors, I was not intending on keeping the original audio, I was just going to voice over it. But then I thought you would all want to see my initial reaction to the colors. Um, and since I was not intending on keeping the audio, there is a TV on in the background. So you might kind of hear some background noise. I apologize for that, but I thought you all might want to see my initial reaction. So here we go. Yay! Good colors, good colors. Oh man, these are really good colors. I'm happy with these. Yay! So yes, I am very happy with the colors I got. My camera does a really bad job at picking up the V000 and the B60. I'm not totally sure why it makes them look really washed out, but um, the picture I include at the end of this video looks a lot more close to how it looks in real life. Um, one thing I'm very happy about is that I got a pinkish tone for the skin. Um, I was really, really hoping I would get a color that I could shade the skin with. So I was very happy when I got a pink tone <laughs> or thing kind of close to the skin tone. I didn't fully color in her skin with the pink. I just kind of put it in the shadows um, just to give it a kind of skin tone effect. Um, I used the B60 in her hair as you can see right now. <laughs> um, one thing that was kind of hard is that the green was a lot more saturated than the pink and blue blue color so it was kind of hard to not make the green totally overtake the picture so at first I wasn't using it very much I only used it in her eyes and on like the collar stuff of her sweater at first I was just planning on her sweater on being white so I just went in with the B60 for the shadows of it but then later on I'm like uh, she doesn't stick out enough from the background so I'm like okay maybe I'll make it pink so later on I'm gonna be changing the color to pink Um, now I'm doing the stripes of her dress. Um, when I was doing her stripes, I kind of was trying to build up the color a lot. So I kept kind of going over areas multiple times to make the colors a little bit more saturated and darker. Or more like color on the paper. <laughs> um, I used the B60 quite a bit in the shadows of her skin too, just to kind of give another tone to her skin like I put it under her neck and stuff. Um, now I'm going in and making the sweater pink and then after I made it pink I just thought her sweater still didn't stand out enough because of the pink and purple stripes on her dress. So I'm like eh, later on I change it to green. I basically colored the sweater three times. <laughs> Um, but I'm kind of happy I did that because it ended up making the green not quite as bright. It kind of ended up making it a little bit more muted in color and not so like, boom, green, look at me, I'm <laughs> green. I had a lot of fun coloring this picture. It was a lot of fun. Here I am, you're gonna see my internal struggle. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna make it green. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm gonna make it green. No, I'm not. And then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so I go in, I just like put, force the marker onto the page. And I'm like, I'm gonna make it green. I'm like, no, I'm gonna ruin it. But then I was very happy with how it ended up looking. So I am happy I decided to take the risk and make it green. <laughs> So I had a lot of fun with this challenge. It was very fun. I want to do it again. 
I feel like I got, I lucked out quite a bit and got some kind of easy colors to work with. Being that I was able to kind of shade the skin and I felt like I got some pretty nice colors. Um, so I kind of want to do this again in the future. I will probably be doing this again. It was so much fun. If you all have any more challenge suggestions or ideas, I'd be really happy to hear them in the comment section below. Maybe I'll do them for my next challenge video. I definitely like drawing challenges. They're a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.